from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I came for the beer and the bitches. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is from a British publication called Metro. Kate Hudson. Revealed she is in no rush to get married again. Following her split from rocker husband, Chris Robinson. He's a rocker. The Bride Wars star divorced Black Crows singer Chris two years ago after a seven-year marriage. And the couple now share custody of their five-year-old son, Ryder. Ryder Robinson. Kate told Hello Magazine, the only magazine with an exclamation point in its name. <laughs> hello. For people who don't really have a mastery of English. Hello. Kate told Hello Magazine. You can imagine the depth. If you haven't read Hello Magazine, you can imagine the depth to which they go to write about a subject. She said, I haven't become cynical. Every girl wants a fairy tale ending. And I do believe it's possible. I'd consider marriage if it was important to the other person. But it's not super important to me anymore. Chicks are getting the message. Very nice. It says here, since her divorce, Kate has dated Fool's Gold star Owen Wilson. Was that before or after he tried to kill himself? I don't know. <laughs> Gary, I'm just asking. Gary had that look like, what are you doing? Why are you saying that? Wait, you know, here's the thing. Here, you know what pisses me off about Owen Wilson's suicide attempt? It's that ever since he has come back from trying to kill himself, he's interviewed on all these shows. Clearly, there's some tacit agreement to never ask him about having tried to kill himself. The other day, I'm watching Owen Wilson on uh, Letterman. He's doing the top ten, and he's sitting at some beachy location with palm trees in the background. And all I can think about is, this is the guy who tried to kill himself within the past year. And he's doing Letterman's top ten. It's like, will anybody ever say, hey, pal, aren't you the guy who tried to kill himself last year? It's the question nobody will ask. I mean, seriously, don't you think that when you see Owen Wilson on TV? Oh, don't you wish somebody would say, hey, aren't you the guy? You, you tried to kill yourself, right? Now, Dean writes on the screen here. He says, well, if he did this show, he would be asked for sure. That's why we don't get guests like Owen Wilson, because I won't read the script from the publicist. I will ask whatever I want to ask. Anyone who doesn't want to come on and answer any question I want to ask, what is the point of having them in here? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what was it like working with Ridley Scott? I, I, I hate those interviews. Owen Wilson, in the new comedy, Last Summer I Tried Killing Myself. I have I I I'm I I don't mean to make light of this seriously but the guy is in comedy movies and it is hard to watch him in a comedy knowing that last year at some point the guy tried to kill himself Come on You just had to be sin So since her divorce Kate has dated Fool's Gold star Owen Wilson and record-breaking cyclist Lance Armstrong, but said the example set by her mother, Goldie Hawn, who for 25 years has been famously not married to Kurt Russell, did not make her fascinated about weddings. She said, my dreams weren't about having a beautiful wedding or a beautiful wedding day, because I didn't know what that was. My mom and Kurt didn't do it. My dreams were more about dancing and singing on Broadway. So this brings up an interesting question. Okay, here is a woman now, attractive woman, young woman, relatively young. And here she is uh, now uh, saying publicly that, uh, that getting married is not important to her. 
It's not super important to me anymore. That's what she said. And yet people continue to get married. I'm just wondering, is marriage super important to you? It's super important. Like, is it very, very, very important that you get married? And if it is, is it very important because you need to get married? Is it very important because your parents need you to get married? Is it very important because uh, you want to have children and you want to be married to do that? Is it very important because your friends are getting married? Is it very important because... You just want to keep that in your back pocket in case you want to keep somebody around and they insist on getting married. Is getting married super important to you? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> The Tom Likas Show. I'm 1 800 5 800 Tom. The Tom Likas Show now with shorter commercial breaks, faster phone calls, more phone calls. Yeah, we've juiced up this puppy. That's what we've done there. Means you have a better chance of getting in at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Is it super important? That's Kate Hudson's term. Super important for you to get married. Veronica. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. Yeah. Um, marriage is important. Why? Um, well, it, it, that's what my, my parents were married for about 42 years. This month it's going to be 42 years. Well, that doesn't make it important. That just means that they were married for 42 years. Yeah, but it makes it important to me. It's, you know, an example for me and... In order for me to, I mean, I've I've set so many goals for myself, like to finish school and, you know, not to get knocked up or anything until I get married. Right. And, uh, but again, you haven't explained to me why getting married is so important. Everything. I want to set that same example for my kids, you know. I want to be with the person I love, and I don't think people should, you know, really be together unless they get married, and that's what I think. You do understand that uh, there's no law against it. Uh, society doesn't look down on you for living with someone without being married. Um, you know, being married is not as important as it was. And by the way, back when your parents got married, people stayed married. That's not true now. Yeah, but I, I don't plan on divorcing either. You well, know? nobody does. I, I would say 100% of the people who get married don't plan on divorcing. That doesn't mean they won't. Half of them are wrong. Yeah. Um, but we've been together, you know, so I'm, I'm not... That doesn't mean anything. In fact, uh, people who get married uh, off a relationship that started in their teens are 80% likely to get divorced. Yeah, but um, I think I'm different. I'm waiting to finish Everyone school. thinks they're different. Do you think... <laughs> don't you think everyone thinks they are unique? Everyone thinks they're the ones who are going to, you know... They're going to break the rules. They're going to they're going to do it while others can't. Yeah, but I'm going to, you know, wait till I finish school. I have a couple more years left of school, get in the police academy. And once I'm done with that, then, you know, take the big step. What school are you going to at 21? I'm going to Cal Poly Fomona. And uh, doesn't it take two years to get an AA? Yes. All right, you're 21. What were you doing over, uh, the, the, that would mean that 18, you were 18 three years ago. Yep. Why were you uh, not graduated from Cal Poly Pomona yet? Because of work. You're busy having a boyfriend? No. It's busy called, having a fiancé? I, I have a fiancé, but it's called work and other things, other factors, you know? Other factors? Like what? Mm -hmm. I have to work. I had to get a, I have to buy my car. I have to provide for myself. And at 18, you know, you can't, you don't have like a really nice fancy job. You know, it, it's really hard to work your way up. So most people go to community college, work, and go to school. That's what I they do. do. I go to school and I work. Yeah, but why was there a year when you didn't? I did, I did. I've been going to school. Why is it taking you so long to get an AA? Probably because I work more than I should go to school. All right. Okay, and uh, so your plan is to uh, to finish your two years of college in four years' time or so, and then go to the police academy? Yep. I see. And why the police academy, if I may ask? That's my career goal, and I'm going to do it. Okay. I just like it. All right. So you're going to have children, and you're going, their mom is going to be out there risking her life as a cop. Sure, why not? It's actually... Sure, why not? 
actually working at seven and working at seven eleven is a lot more riskier than working um as a cop depends on how good a cop uh, people like you become i'm sorry it depends on how good a cop people like you become yeah yep so it is important, and I will. I plan on marrying in a couple of years. And I wasn't suggesting working at Seven Eleven as the alternative. There's plenty no, of other alternatives. Of course not. No, but it is really. They did like a survey of the most um, dangerous jobs, and that was like one of the most dangerous. Working jobs. at Seven Eleven is one of the most dangerous jobs. Yeah, really. Really. It is. Look it up. And, and what about being a cop? Safe? No, it's like number seven on the list. But that's like seven. American. Seven most dangerous jobs. Yeah, like top ten, like cop was like number seven. Why do you need to have such a dangerous job if you plan to be a mother, I guess, is my question. I don't plan on patrolling the whole time. Well, That's why I'm going to get my degree so I can promote. Get promoted to? Sergeant, lieutenant, as far as I can go. I see. Okay. And being married is super important again. Why? So I can do all that, so I can accomplish having, you know... So you kids. can't get a job unless you're married? No, I'm talking you about... You can't have a career kids. goal? Having kids. You can't have children if you're not married? I guess I have those um, back then ideas, type of ideas. You, I, I think you I should know, get married. Of course, we're not living back then, as, as you may have noticed. Uh, by, by the way, whose children are in the background there? Oh, I'm at work. I work with a bunch of kids. What do you do? I work, um, I don't want to say the name of the company, but I... don't need I, to know the company. What do you do? You run a daycare center at a company? No, it's a nutrition program for low-income families. I see. So I see this happen all the time. You see what happen? Um, like young people having like a bunch of kids or people that aren't... And that's why you didn't get yourself knocked up? Exactly. Or people that aren't educated and can't get like a better job and, you know, they have a bunch of kids. Got it. All right, Veronica, good luck to you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Kevin on the Tom Lagan Show are trying to find out if marriage is super important to you. Hello. Uh, Tom, I'm going to disagree with this last caller here uh, and say that marriage is not as important as uh, she may think it is, <clears throat> mainly because um, why would you want to involve the government in your relationship? You know, um, first of all, you're going to be spending all this money to get married. Second of all, chances nowadays that it's actually going to last are way against you. Um, you have all these Internet sites promoting uh, adultery, basically. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I listen to the uh, Howard Stern show, and um, uh, they say every 20 seconds somebody's joining this Ashley Madison, whatever you want to call it, She's basically promoting scoring around cheating on herself. Right. And it's just it's By just the way, didn't Howard Stern, didn't Howard Stern just get married? Exactly, yeah. But but he did it smart though, Tom. He got a prenup. Uh huh. He got a prenup. So and you know, my parents have been you know, they've been together for a long time. Um and I think that's awesome if you can do it, but but again, times have changed, man. It's not it's not marriage isn't what it used to be. Uh, yeah, but I mean, again, I, uh, I I don't see the need for it. I keep telling that to people that I don't see the need for it. And uh, I found it interesting that a woman, you know, a desirable, attractive woman who's got money, says she doesn't see the need for marriage. But, of course, that may answer my question. Because she has her own money, <laughs> because she can have any man she wants, pretty much. Yep. Uh, and, in fact, most men probably make less money than she does. Uh, perhaps, right. perhaps that is why she doesn't see the need for marriage. The, the women who see the need for marriage are women who make less money than you. Yeah, I make pretty good money. I mean, that's not a uh, you know. I'm only 23, but straight out of college, and yeah, I make pretty good money. But uh, just the, I really don't think there's anything wrong with finding someone that you care about and love and, and want to spend your time with, um, as long as you know you do it in a mature responsible way and it's not just uh, uh, you know but even then you don't need to get married exactly you don't need to get married you don't need it well no I mean you could show your commitment and love to, to people other ways than involving the government in your relationship I mean that's just you're paying money to get married and then you you know basically if anything ever goes wrong in, which the odds are something's going to go wrong that you're both someone's going to become unhappy uh, 
and then you're stuck, and and look what happens. You have to pay money to get divorced, and it's just another big struggle you got to go through. I, it makes no sense. To stop. You're absolutely right, Willie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How hey, you doing? Doing okay. Tom, good time caller, long time listener. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tom. I love you. Thank you. Uh, Tom, I call because I think getting married is important to me because I need to get papers to become a citizen. Oh, well, it is certainly important. Kate Hudson is an American, so she doesn't have to worry about that. Oh. Uh, what country are you from? Uh, Mexico. Chihuahua. Viva Chihuahua. There we go. And have you found somebody to marry? Uh, no, I I try to pay a uh, good money to a pretty girl, but only fat girls, ugly ones, want to marry me. <laughs> but uh, I I just want pretty girl. I, and that's what we all want, Willie. Yeah, Tom, um, I've been illegal here since age fourteen, and right now I try to hustle, make money by making guaraches from tires and possum skin, and I sell, try to send them out to my abuelita in uh, Placita Alvera. But, Tom, um, uh, that's what's important to me, to get married, to become citizen. But, Tom, um, can you take me out a uh, pipa hit, a uh, bong hit, an airplane crash? Uh, yes, yes, I could give you all that. I think one of the best things our show does, and I'm not not kidding about this, is that we Americanize people who come to the United States. They come here, they learn to understand our sense of humor, our culture. You know, we think playing sound effects of plane crashes is funny in the United States, and there he is asking to be taken out with a plane crash. I think that's fantastic. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Matthew on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom. Hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to know why, um, well, first of all, I'll start off with a little introduction. I live with my grandparents and my dad. Grandparents have been happily, happily married for like 50 something years. And my dad, he got the, so I was like one with my mom. And so I was just wondering, maybe you can like explain or better explain why are, what's the differences between our societies and why like marriage worked with our with the old school and not with like our generation well uh, for one thing marriages didn't necessarily work better um back when your grandparents got married uh, uh getting divorced had a stigma to it and in some cases it was very difficult to get a divorce divorce laws were difficult um you uh, uh had to at one time get the uh, uh consent of the other person to divorce which now you don't need to get anymore you had to prove cause. For example, you had to prove the other person was cheating or prove the other person was impotent. But doesn't, doesn't uh, like the changes in our values like kind of have something to do with it at all? Well, I, I mean, I, the I, laws I, are I, a reflection. Like, laws are a reflection of our values. And um, we decided in the 60s and the 70s to loosen up the divorce laws. And, uh, of course, uh, this is what you have now. Uh, in addition, though, there's more to it than that. Because my mom, many years ago, was a stay-at-home housewife. Uh, she stayed home and she waxed the hardwood floors and she made three meals. Actually, she made five meals a day because my dad left early and got home late. So there were two breakfasts and two dinners every day. And, it, sounds like, it sounds like the old school was a better society. Because uh, yeah, but, go out. But, but here's the thing. My mom didn't have a cell phone, couldn't receive text messages or send them, couldn't have secret email addresses where she could write to guys and hook up with them, didn't have Facebook or MySpace or Twitter where she could you know, put provocative pictures of herself on there and have 12,816 friends. Yeah. I mean, there's all this stuff out there now that didn't exist before. Wow. So, so in a sense, technology is making is helping to make like marriage and break down like our marriage. Well, stuff, but like, it's not. The, it's not just technology because I have always believed uh, it's a quote you hear often uh, that uh, people stay married according to what their alternatives are. Yeah, that's true. 
you know, and, and, women, and women had to stay home and couldn't get jobs like you, like now. I mean, women can are, are really forced because of the economy. Well, and women were also expected to raise their children. They were expected to stay at home with their children. You didn't give up custody of your kids or share custody of your kids. Uh, they, no, when, it was feminism. Feminism messed it up for marriage. Well, uh, you know, again, though, it took the majority of Americans to sign off on these laws. Yeah. Well, Tom, too bad you weren't back then, because maybe you could have saved marriage. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, I, I now understand that marriage is no more than a business contract. That's what it is. It is you're agreeing to give up a certain amount of cash in order to keep a woman, uh, you know, somewhere near your address. And even then, it doesn't guarantee that she'll be faithful to you. And in fact, a woman can uh, marry you, have sex with your best, yet you can catch her having sex with your best friend right on your own living room sofa. And then when you catch, and then when you catch, I'm not, the sentence isn't finished yet. And then when you catch her on the living room sofa with your best friend in mid thrust, she can say, well, I'm going to take you for everything you've got. And she can do it. Yeah. Well, is there any alternative to getting legally married, like just getting married but off the books? Well, why why do that? Well, it's a compromise. If the, if no, the getting, getting married but it's off the books. Getting married is a legal contract. The way to get married without getting married is to move in with someone and not actually marry. But marriage existed before legal contracts, I mean, back in the day. Yeah, but it was still called common law marriage. Yeah, that's true. You see, we don't have common law marriage anymore. I mean, look, why do you need the government to sanction what you're doing? No, for sure. For sure. I'm not, I mean, that's I'm not all it either. is. That's all it is. It's the government sanctioning your marriage. Why do you need that? Yeah, if, that's true. If I you mean, love uh, somebody, you do, real, do, you really need, do you really need Arnold Schwarzenegger to sign off on, on your relationship? Right. Well... A couple things, though, that are benefits of marriage is that if, if he, like, let's say the husband owns, like, a, a lot of property or company or something, you know, and he wants that to pass to her, it's easier to do it that way. All if, you uh, need is a will. Oh, that's true, a will. Yeah. All right, Tom, man, you, uh, it's pretty sad that people can't get married, like, and stay married these days, and it's turned into what it's... Many, but, uh, but you have to understand, Matthew, the part you don't understand, because most of your understanding of marriage from the old days is your grandparents... And old movies or TV shows. But many people stayed in abusive marriages. Many people stayed in marriages and were miserable. Many people stayed in marriages with alcoholics, drug addicts, and they just stayed together. Yeah, see, I got lucky because my grandparents and actually no one in my family has ever been an alcoholic, and everybody's pretty old school. Well, that's wonderful. Respectful. Almost everybody in my family was an alcoholic or a drug addict. And I feel sorry for you, Tom. That sucks. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm, I'm happy as a clam. I know, but probably back then it probably really sucked. It did suck. So I, I decided I was going to make my life better, and I did. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Now heard six days a week, Monday through Friday, 3 to 8 p.m. Pacific time as you head home. Saturdays 2 until 6 p.m. on 97.1 FM Talk and also on our website, blowmeuptop.com. That's where you'll find us, baby. So come find us. And in Sundays, the tasting room with Tom Likens from 5 until 7 p.m. And uh, you can't get away from us one every day, essentially. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Kate Hudson said that uh, marriage is not super important to her anymore. What about you? Brandon on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Yeah, um, uh, like it's one one student right here. Phone, uh, first time caller. Uh, primarily, I want to get married because I want to have a healthy family. Um, there's many aspects of me wanting to get married but you know i want to carry on the family name i know that sounds stupid but well, you, you 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 have the family name whether uh you get married or not i mean jo jokingly my last name is smith but like oh boy it'd be a shame no, if you didn't uh, keep the family name going no i mean for my dad and grandparents you know all served in you know the war and i, I don't know every night 
um, you know, to have a wife next to you when you go to sleep. It would, it would be, why do, why does the fact that the Secretary of State of the state of California put their raised seal on a piece of paper, why would that make her any more of a companion? Just knowing that she's going to be there, she's the one to be a partner. But you don't know fun. that. You don't know that because 50% of the people who get married get divorced. You but don't. That, getting married guarantees nothing anymore. That's why I got picked that girl with the good qualities, I think, Tom. I mean, Everyone like, thinks they've picked the girl with the good qualities, and 50% yeah. of them are wrong. Yeah, but they're idiots. Like you know, dad. 50% say heads, 50% say tails, okay? And 50% are wrong. Yeah, well, my dad says uh, two guns are better than one, and I, I agree with him in a in a, Well, in you, a you could have two guns if you weren't married. You could have one gun on Monday night and one gun on Tuesday night. I don't know. Plus, I want to be supportive and, and support someone, have that come home every night. Yeah. Um, what about when she comes home and says, I don't feel like cooking, or I don't feel like doing the dishes? My mom taught me how to cook, man. I'll cook for her. I'll, well, I'll that, but then, her. So how are you being supported? I work. No, no. How are you being supported uh, at home? If you marry someone and she goes on strike and doesn't do anything around the house, how are you getting support? Well, I, I work. I work out. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the kind of support you're talking about getting from a from a companion. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, you know, just cleaning. Um, what know, if What like, if she doesn't want to clean? Well, that that's something I'd have to take on. You know, head on. Mm. But I I would definitely love to have a woman in my life. And, and I have I have a woman cleaning my house. Yeah, the, yeah. The, she's <laughs> she's from Honduras. My my uh, mom, I know it sounds stupid, but she's always trying to set me up with dates. She really wants me to get married. She's saying that the so other day. So that's why you want to get married. One reason, yeah. My mom was saying the other day, she's all, so I want a grandma's little monster running around. Well, around you could do that being married or not being married. The only way I wouldn't get married, and this is no no joke, is if you were in me a room out in your place, <laughs> and I could, and I could hang, and I could so hang. So now with you. the truth comes out. You don't. You want to get married because you've got no game. You don't have chicks around you all the time. You, uh, <laughs> that, um, that's um, why you want to get married. I know this sounds stupid, but I'm glad you're not on the air out here in the Bay Area because I I hog all your information. I take it all in, and no other guys know. It. All those other guys have is. As a bottle of VIP tables. Hey, come over and have a drink with me. And you know what I have? I have an iPod full of your podcast in my car. So I love I beat, it. I beat them, but I do like get married. I'm working at the night crew at Walgreens, and I know that 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 sounds, you know, not it's not like a lawyer job or a, a surgeon surgeon job or a pro UFC fighter or whatever. But. I, I want to I wanna do voice characters even for Disney, maybe. I got a character I've been working on, and if that ever falls through... That, hey, you understand you're you're up in you're in Petaluma, which is up in Sonoma County, which is a wonderful place, by the way. But it's nowhere near the Walt Disney Company or other people who do voiceovers. Because I'm not ready to jump on the, the, the five yet and head up... Dude, you're 30 years old. I mean, when, when are you going to be ready? I, I've got my book. I got my book of character skits. I got I got uh, maybe another year to finish it, and I'm gonna go up there and see what I can knock out. I'm gonna just throw my throw my card everywhere. I'll get something. Sure. All right. Well, good luck on that. I wanted to hear the character. Oh, wait a minute! He's still there. Do the character, Brandon. All right. This is a uh, tackle box Barry. This is tackle box Barry. And uh, I just want to say I hate that Disney Disney on ice. I, I like uh, Silence of the Lambs on ice. That's what I want to do. My wife, she melted the flash water by riding the M80 off in the kitchen. So she's so she's using, I mean, she melted the uh, the egg spatula, so now she's using the flash water, and she turned me into a fly. There's wings coming out of my thorax. You know, I want to invent a dog-carrying strap. For uh, big dogs, you know, those stupid girls like stupid Paris Hilton have uh, uh, small dog carriers for their teacup chihuahuas. Well, I want to make one for, like, big dogs like Akitas and uh, German Shepherds and uh, Bull Masses. You know, you can go down the escalator and hang the strap off your deltoid <laughs> while your dog is misbehaving, barking at everybody, looking alpha male on the escalator. You got this big dog on your dog carrying case strapped around your deltoid. 
Know what I mean, Vern? I think I've heard this character before somewhere. I think I've heard this guy. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. She's alive? She's dead. I think she's dead. Same character. <laughs> I think he's ready to come down the I 5 right now. And if things don't work out, just remember, paper or plastic, whatever is more convenient for you is fine. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Is getting married super important? Super important to you. John on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Um, is it in super important to me? I would, I would actually uh, say I'm not too sure about that right now, but I think... Uh, I think marriage is is kind of important if you're in ter if you're the right kind of person that wants to say like it's about a commitment that you're 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 telling your friends, your family, everybody around you, your whole network that you know and love that that I'm you're willing to pay half of everything you've ever earned in order to get access to this woman's vagina. Well, no guts, no glory, you know what I mean? I mean <laughs> What? Kidding. I was just kidding. Yeah, that's, but, that's like jumping off a building and saying no guts, no glory. <laughs> well, uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, the jury's out on that, Like, but I, I do understand the concept, I think, which is that if, you know, anybody that you're going to end up with, if you're going to spend a significant amount of time with anybody, you're going to be pushed to breaking point time and time again. And if you don't have a, a reason to stay, if you didn't make a commitment really strongly in your, in your mind and your heart, you're probably going to leave. And I think that the origins of marriage were really just making that strong commitment and being willing to stick it out even when you don't like the person. <laughs> Why would you want to stay with someone you don't like? Well, why would I want to finish my job when I don't like it? I mean, there's rewards to things. What that... is the reward to staying with a person you don't like? What's the reward? You have one life, one opportunity. Why would you want to stay with someone you don't like? I want to know what the reward is for that. In the end, when you raise successful kids, that that they they have a unified parent group of parents that that, uh, that don't like each other. 30 year parents. And they are too stupid to know their parents don't like each other? Is that what you're saying? No, I think it depends on each couple. How do you think kids feel growing up with two parents who don't like each other? My my parents fought a lot growing up, but now they love each other. And, and they're actually. Do they really not enjoying... like each other? No, they fought because of the stresses of well, life. Well, you just said that you would stay with someone even if you didn't like them. No, I mean. The way that, the way that uh, life works is sometimes you don't. You know. Familiarity breeds contempt, they say. You know what I mean? Like, you spend your day in, day out with this person, all of a sudden the things that you didn't even, weren't even bothered about before actually bother you today. And it's not even their fault. It's just the way it is. But don't you think kids are smart enough to know if you don't uh, like each other? Oh, I, I, no, I think, I think you're They're taking too stupid. I mean, out of context, but. You said even if you don't like each other. You said that. Yeah, it's from day to day. No, you like each other. You love each other. That's why you got married in the first place. But on on Tuesday, but you, you just know, said it, you would stay with someone even if you don't like them. Like is a temporary thing. It's time. Oh relevant. my God, you're killing me. Tom like is one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom one. 800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Michelle writes, Tom, I am an educated 30-year-old woman with a good job and a good salary. Kate Hudson is lying to Hello Magazine as well as herself. Most women who say what she said say things like that with an ulterior motive. Her motives ought to make potential suitors think she's progressive and liberal. Then she will reel them in and start nagging them to get married. She's also trying to convince herself that she thinks that way 
so she doesn't kill herself for being as cute as she is and not dating anyone. Snot's still married and has no future perspectives in that realm. You of all people should know that there are very few women who look like Kate Hudson who really believe that. I feel bad for her that her self-esteem is so low that she has to be like that, not to lie like that to herself. That said, I fully admit that I think marriage is important for the sheer fact that my upbringing has led me to feel that I do not approve of children out of wedlock. And I do believe that it is, hopefully, a more stable environment to raise a child. Had I been raised in a more progressive environment, I may feel differently. But alas, I was not. Even though Kate Hudson was raised with unmarried parents, I truly do not believe that she's being true to herself or she never would have gotten married in the first place. That's from Michelle. By the way, you can email us in mid-show here by writing to Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. I do read these, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. We're talking about Kate Hudson's comment to Hello Magazine in Britain. And her comment was that at this point in her life, 29 years old, marriage is not super important to her as it once was. Is it super important to you? Carlos, hello. Tom, how are you? Great. Uh, by the way, you do great work. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but I do agree with you um, in a sense that marriage is probably not good for about 99% of humans. I mean, we have this uh, old school ideal from like the 40s and 50s where global wars have put us to the brink of like, oh, we need to find somebody, we need to marry somebody to perpetuate life. But people don't realize that those were old uh, society um, ideals, and now where we live in now, uh, there's no use for it. I mean, the, the cause that you had that was uh, getting married or trying to get married to get his green card, you know, he's using the system to get what he wants. He wants to pay taxes, wants to be a citizen. Marriage will work for him in that sense. But overall, people lose their identity, people lose what they really want in life because they're so wrapped up on this concept of, if I need to find somebody or else I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life, and that's just not true. And like, you're right, you don't need a statesman signing off on your marriage, you don't need your friends agreeing with you or telling everybody, like you said, you know, uh, I'm telling all my friends that uh, this is the way into this woman's, you know, pants. Um, and, and I don't agree with these people who, who think that uh, marriage is wholesome and pure when, you know, half the people who get married realize it's not it's not for them. And uh, on the topic of, you know, the religious aspect, I mean, marriage, the way it is now, comes from, like, the, the whole, you know, you have to do it because God says you do, or it's the right thing. And, uh... I think I just think people lose what what they really think about love, and if you really love somebody and you're truly committed to somebody, you will be with them forever. I mean, that's just how it is. And uh, bringing a marriage, bringing something like that, it just adds you know more problems than than what what it should be. And 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 being with somebody that you love should be about just having the greatest time with your life with them. And not having that pressure of, do we need a prenup? Are you going to cheat on me or this and that? Because true love, in a sense, that that won't happen. And, and that's probably for like 1% or 2% of the people who actually find that true love. And, you know, and then everyone else just gets caught up in the mix. <laughs> I think you're right about that. Carlos, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. Veronica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, me and the girls at work are listening to um, everything that's being said, and me personally, I just wanted to share my opinion because I did grow up thinking that you did have to get married, and um, actually, whoever you lost your virginity to, you had to stick with. And I stayed with somebody for 10 years since I was 15 because I thought that's what I had to do until... Being time after time, problems after problems happen, and yes, I had a daughter, and I'm not going to take it back. I love her with all my heart, but I wasted how many years of my life because I was brainwashed as a kid thinking that I had to stay with somebody. Marriage now, thank God I know I didn't marry him, but if I would have, I would have been divorced by, what, 22 years old? Like, people do this for no reason. If you find the right person, you should be on the same brainwave that you know you are secure and, hey, let's do this. And plus, the way society is now, you're handed out more if you're not married. Why am I going to pay more? Why am I going to pay more taxes if he has more money that we're not married to spend on me and my our kids, if we have kids? Then, hey, we all benefit from it. Yes, there's the religion part. Um, and I don't really want to get into that, but hey, pray to God, and I'm sure God will bless you with whatever blessings you deserve. 
Well, uh, that, that's if you believe that, of course. If you do, right. And everybody has their own opinion on that, but that's a whole other subject. I'm only 25 years old. If I find the right man, hey, I'll share my life with him, and he's going to share his life with me. But you put what people forget is that you're going to get what you put out. And if you don't, then, hey, you're not with the right person. Thank you, Veronica. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Victor on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, first time, long time? Yeah. I uh, just want to say, you know what, dude? Um, I'm 26. I have two kids. I got married, got divorced. I'm in a crappy job right now. I'm working to get my degree. But that's all right, because I've done what I need to do for society. I self-perpetuated. I have children. I don't need any more, nor do I want any more. But that doesn't mean to say that I don't love my kids. But I am going to handle my business, pay for them, spend time with them, and just do what I have to do. Oh, and by the way, I'm not giving her a dime because I got a good lawyer. Oh, really? Good for you. Yeah. So, I like that. So I, I love what you preach, and, you know, I, I, I try to live by that as well, but... You know, I got to do what I got to do. And society does not dictate what I do. I do. I dictate what I do. There you go. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And I'm glad to having Arnold Schwarzenegger's name on your marriage certificate to, uh, is not necessary for you to feel like you have a relationship. <laughs> That's so preposterous. 1-800-5800-TOM. Very quickly, Richard on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, buddy? Great. Well, I, I would say I would agree marriage is not so important, but, you know, I've been actually married for 13 years, and it's worked out for me. I'm one of the fortunate ones, and, you know, I, I don't regret getting married. I have a great wife, uh, three great kids, and everything's worked out, and I just think that if you really commit to it, and hopefully you don't have somebody who's abusive or, or alcoholic or whatever, it, it can actually be a positive thing, in my opinion. Well, uh, I don't believe that for a man it's a positive thing, period. I'm glad to see that an attractive, relatively young woman like Kate Hudson also doesn't see it as an important thing. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.